Hi, g'day. In this video, I will show you how to find the best veterinary courses in Australia for a bachelor degree. And I will show you what websites to use to compare the, the courses that Australia offers. My name is Adi McDowell from OntoAustralia.com. I help international students like you to study in Australia and to graduate and to do it in an easy way. Okay, let me tell you about the websites that I will use to find the best course. The best course. Uh, this one is called Krikos, and it is a government website, and it is a register of courses and institutions uh, for overseas students. So you can use it as a database and a search engine, and you can find any course in Australia that is offered to overseas students. The second website that I will use is called quilt.edu.au. It's an Australian website and it is used to compare courses and to compare different institutes and universities. It is based on the feedback of thousands of students. And the third website that I will use to, to find the best course is called the Academic Ranking of World Universities. It has been established since 2003. And from here you can see uh, the ranking of the universities around the world and you can also see the ranking of Australian universities in the top 100. Okay, now let me give you a quick summary of the three websites that we'll, we will use for this comparison. So this is CRECOS, it stands for Commonwealth Register of Institutions and Courses for Overseas Students. Um, it is a government website by the Department of Education and Training and it is designed for overseas students. Um, from the website it says that uh, this is the official Australian government website that lists all Australian education providers that offer courses to people studying in Australia on student visas and the courses offered. A quick summary of the second website is called Quilt stands for Quality in Learning and Teaching. It is an Australian website and uh, it, helps, it helps the students, the people looking for courses, it helps them make informed decisions. Um, so using this website you can compare up to six different institutions or different er uh, studies of er uh, area studies. Uh, the, the findings are based on the experiences of real students and graduates and they say that they, uh, they um, interview 350,000 students per year. An example of the fields of questions that they ask the students are the overall satisfaction, the, uh, if, there was, if the teaching was good or if the generic, generic skills were good, or student experience, for example, the quality of education experience, the teaching quality, the learner engagement, the learning resources, student support or skills development. The website also has sections about um, full-time employment, um, after they graduated, did they get full-time employment um, and did they, um, what was their salary of the full-time employment. The last website that I use is called the Academic Ranking of World Universities since 2013. Um, in 2009, it was overtaken by the shanghairanking.com and um, this is a uh, academic ranking system where they rank all of the universities in the world. Uh, there are many that you can choose to, to rank um, international universities, but this is the one that I found the best, so I will use this for my uh, comparisons. Now follow me on my screen as I show you the steps to take and the websites to use to find the best veterinary course. So you go to the CRECOS website here. This is the home page. You can see you can um, search by course or search by institute or you can search by state. But we will search by course and it brings up the search screen. So for uh, course type we will choose bachelor degree and for the broad field we will choose health 
And for the narrow field, we will choose veterinary studies. Okay, and then hit the search button here. And it will give you a list of 13 courses. You can see here that they have the duration. Okay, some of them are 260, some of them are 200, some of them are 150. The level here is bachelor degree. Okay, you can search for other levels if you like. Here it shows the university provider, and here it shows the course name. Some of these courses we are not in interested in. For example, we are not interested in a Bachelor of Agribusiness. So we need to remove these from the list. To do that, I need to copy the whole list here, do Control c to copy it, and then I open up Google Sheets and I paste it in and then I open this up a little bit so I can read it properly. Okay, so this one here, Bachelor of Science, um, sorry, Bachelor of Agribusiness, we don't need this one. Uh, this one here, uh, Veterinary Biology is fine, Bachelor of Animal, Bachelor of Animal, this one here is fine. All of them are good except for veterinary technology. Okay, we don't really need this one. So now you can see we have a list of universities here. Now we need to remove the duplicates. So you can see that Murdoch University is listed twice. So we can remove this. Remove this one. And Latrobe is listed twice, we can remove that one. U University of Sydney is listed twice. And University of Sydney again. So now you can see we have a list of seven universities to choose from and seven courses. And this course here there is, that is only 52 weeks, we can remove that one as well. So that leaves us with six universities. Now you need to compare the universities, so do it here. Now with those six universities we go across to quilt.edu.au and here we will compare those universities. So we will click on study areas and then we will find health and we will find veterinary science. Click on that. It will bring you to the veterinary science page. You can see that um, there is an 84% success rate after you graduate from a veterinary science uh, degree that you will find full-time employment, which is quite high. Usually it's around 80. So now we will click on university to search for university courses. And you can see that there are eight universities with undergraduate courses in veterinary science. Now we need to cross-reference with the list we compiled from CRECOS because CRECOS shows you all of the current courses that are being offered. So we'll go back there, go back to our spreadsheet, and the first university that we will look for is Murdoch University. Okay, here is Murdoch University, so we will click Add to Compare. The second is Latrobe. So we will find La Trobe University here, hit Add to Compare. The third, website, the third university is University of Melbourne. Find University of Melbourne on the list and then hit Add to Compare. And I will do the same for the remaining three universities and I'll do it in quick speed. Okay, now you can see I have uh, six items in my shortlist. Click on the shortlist 
and then you can see that they are listed here and all we have to do now is click compare six. This is the results play page and you can see that Murdoch University is by far the highest ranking course. Number two is Charles Sturt and the others are around the national average. You can see here this line here is the national average for satisfaction. If you want to see the results for the other areas, you can look at teaching quality, learner engagement, learning resources, student support, and skills development. So from the results, we can see that Murdoch University is the best choice. Now, how do I know that Murdoch University is a good uh, University in Australia, I need to do, I need, I need to check the world rankings. So I go to the website for the academic ranking of world universities. These are the Australian rankings. So you can see that University of Melbourne is the number one rank in Australia and it has a world rank of 38. And when I look through the list for Murdoch University, I see that it is not there. So it's not in the top 23 universities in Australia. And what about the second ranked university by Quilt? It was Charles Sturt. So let me go and check this in the world rankings. And as I check the list here, you can see that the Charles Sturt University is also not in the top 23 universities of Australia. So which universities are in the top 23 universities in Australia? You can see uh, La Trobe and Queensland, University of Queensland, when we go to the rankings, University of Queensland is ranked number two. In the world it is ranked number five. And La Trobe is ranked number 16. And in the world it is in the top 300. So now you, have, you can make the choice which is the best course to choose. You can choose the University of Queensland, which is the number two ranked University in Australia and it has average rankings here or you can go for uh, Murdoch University. It's not in the top ranked Australian universities but that doesn't mean that the course that they offer is not the best. So here you could do further research but for me I think I will choose the Murdoch University. And now that you have selected your course Let's check out the website, the university website, and see what the course, see what the website offers. So now that we have selected the Murdoch University as the best course, we need to find more information on that. So we go back to the Krikos website, go back to the web, uh, go back to the home page, and we can do an institution search here. For the institution name, we can type in Murdoch University and hit, hit search. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the box below. Thanks. And it will give you a profile page of the Murdoch University. It gives you the CRECOS code, the total number of students, which is 5,000. It is a government institution. Here's the link to the website. Here are the campus areas, campus locations, and here's a map. You can also get contact details, but this is what we're interested in here. It's the list of courses. You can see that Murdoch University have 356 courses. Now they're spread across uh, 18 pages. So what we need to do is click here on print institution details and it will give us the full list of courses. Click on that. And here is the full list of courses here. So now we need to search for our veterinary course. So to do that, I can do Control F, which is a browser search. You probably can't see it in this screen. So I will t type in veterinary. And you can see here that it gives me a few options here. So we have this bachelor, bachelor of science, another bachelor of science, doctor of philosophy, doctor of veterinary medical science. So these are all doctoral degrees. We want to find a bachelor degree. We'll keep searching. This is a master's. This is another master's. This is a graduate certificate and this is the bachelor degree. Okay, so we will click on this 
If you are finding this video helpful, please hit the like button below. Thanks. And you can see it takes me to the course page. You can see the course name. This is what I want, the Krikos course code. Copy that. Okay, and it gives you more information here. Gives you the hours per week, the total hours. The estimated course cost is $244,000. Okay. The location is the Murdoch University, more institution details here. So what we want now is the website. We want to go through to the Murdoch University. So click on that. If you are finding this sort of information useful, then you can go to my website. It is called ontoaustralia.com and there you will find a free course on how to study and how to live in Australia and how to apply to study in Australia. And it will take you to the Murdoch University website. This is the home page. From here we can click on the search and we can type in veterinary bachelor degree. And it gives you the results page here. So we can filter by courses. Click on that. And now you can see the first listing here is our Bachelor of Science in Veterinary Biology and Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. This is the one we want, so click on that. Now this is the course page, and it will give you all the information you need about the course. You can see here that we need to click on International Students, and it gives you the Krikos course code, five years full-time duration, and it gives you all of the other information that you need to know about applying for this course. There's a PDF you can download. Here are the English requirements, the IELTS score that you need, and more information here. I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And until we meet again, bye.